Look at this fan, how well looked after is that? A Luna Champ A520. It's a four berth, only two belted seats. 2005 two litre turbo diesel, 3000 kilograms. And it's a tad over five and a half meters. So we've got a compact motorhome. 2005, look at the condition it's in for 21 and a half thousand miles. It's had plenty of service done to it, so it's been looked after. Um, this, I think, is going to be an ideal starter van for a couple. Perfect for them. Let's have a look. Right, so we'll start off with the cab. Now, this is on the older, older shape, I call them, because we've got the new shape, and then about, um, when was it now? 2013, it went to the new shape, sorry. And then from 2006 on a 56 plate, so about 2013, it was the older shape, and then it was this shape, which is the older, older shape. You don't, you don't, just run with me, just agree. Um, so, pretty standard cab for these, Fiat Decato. We've got um, CD radio in it, we've got the blown air, it's not going to have air conditioning. It's five speed manual with a mirror. Um, and that's basically what you're getting in the van, which you wouldn't expect anymore anyway. I'm going to fall over one day when I jump out of there. Oh, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to like, because more importantly, don't forget to subscribe. So let's have a look at the A520. Um, obviously, we've got over cab, that's why it's the four berth. Um, and you're guessing, if you're guessing right, if it's going to be the two belted seat, it's either going to be bench seats inside, or it's going to be a U-shaped lounge at the back. So we'll have a look at that when we get inside. Cassette toilet, hookup, LPG gas. And then what we have here, this is the flue for the Truma heater. That's the winter cover on. It's giving more and more, this little lunar is. We've got a three bike rack on the back. Well, it's not gonna be anywhere else, is it really? And then coming out, we have the awning with the awning light. So let's have a look inside. So there you go, there's your over cab. It's a big size cab, um, over cab bed that is. Big size couple of windows as well to let a bit of light in so I do like that so I'm guessing now might as well while we're here let's have a look inside now that shocked me to be honest it's a combined shower but look at the size of that that's a great size that is I'm not going to get inside um, because Paul shout at me because he's just cleaned it all through so I'm not going to get in there and get my dirty feet in the shower area but really impressed with that Really impressive. Look at the size of the sink on there. And then you've got a good size there for doing what you've got to do. They've certainly packed it out in the shower area. Dead impressive there. So let's move on. Um, control panels up um, as you walk in. Control panel there. And then what we've got, let's make work away on. You're not going to get a big kitchen area because don't forget it's only five and a half meters. So we're getting what we need. We're getting three burner on <laughs> and that's quite a big sink actually. So we're getting a good size sink followed by the window with the, here we go, fly screen. Oh, blind, fly screen, obviously window that opens. Standard again, three way fridge. And then what we do have is it's a hob and a grill. Oh, we're getting both. We're getting both. Hot. The hob and grill, I just said, didn't I? Grill and oven. Right. And now let's have a look at the back because it's not the bench seats. It's going to be a lounge area at the back. So we've got the skylight above. And then we've got there. What we've got TV cabinet -y type of thing. We're all flat screens now, aren't we? And then storage all around. Look at those lights. You don't get them anymore, do you? Um, and then we've got the um, dinette area, bed area, big size table. Ooh, that's a chunky, chunky table there. Um, obviously this is gonna pull out to make an end bed. Um, windows all around. Now this type of van, great starter van, and you normally type and find that these type of vans appeal to people who've had a caravan and wanna move into the motorhome. Um, so what people like to do, and also as well, you get to have a good nose around the campsite as well while you're sitting there. So there's the other option. We're looking at a gas fire there, and we'll electric hot water, and also we've got gas hot water, and the, we do have, a good size wardrobe so as well what i do like look at this you've got your, your sink we've got the oven and grill and then we've got a cutlery drawer 
how good's that? Because we can do a washing, we can dry it, and we drop. Do a fork, and we drop. See that? They think of everything, Luna, do. Look at that. So, stack time, 21,000 miles, 2,000, two litre turbo diesel, 3,000 kilograms, we've already said, manual, five speed, five and a half metres, good service history, TV aerial, cycle rack, awning, awning light, blown air, gas only, it isn't electric, which I did show you there. Good size, fresh water capacity, 120 litres, waste water capacity, 100 litres. You've got fly screens, blinds, roof light, freestanding table, mixers, mixer taps, fridge, fire extinguisher, oven, grill, hobs. There you have that. So as we've said, this is a good, good start of Amber Summer. This is in great condition, in fairness, really good condition. Pricing wise, right anywhere really between the 22, probably 25, 26,000, um, depending on condition. Um, this one again, it's only done 21,000 miles, so you're probably going to be around about 23s, 25s. I don't know. I, we can't guess any prices now, can we? Really? But yeah, safe, safe bet 21, 25,000 pounds again, depending on condition. So if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, more importantly, subscribe to us, and see you later.